one thing for sure, if all, uh, there, if there's one outbreak, bacteria happens, if then no antibiotics work, unfortunately, then all animals will die. So there is no production, you know, like if, if and then uh, it, it costs not only economic, like of course it will have economic loss and, uh, and there's no food in this case situation, especially for, for meat producers, because these young animals are usually tend to, you know, livestock, they are like live together. So when there's resident bacterial outbreak happen once in one animal, it spread really fast. So this is one of the reasons also in aquaculture system. Aquaculture, poultry and meat producers are really, has a really high risk in terms of the when there's resident bacterial outbreak. No antibiotic works anymore to treat this outbreak. So the only way you can do, kill all the animal, do biosecurity, clean all the farms, making sure that the source of this resident bacteria are not spreading again in the farms. Unfortunately, this one, it will happen more often, even though in the country where sanitation is high, or like we discussed about the corruption, if it really are highly regulated, antibiotics are highly regulated, antibiotic use also low, this will happen more. Because uh, again, resident bacteria is uh, no borders, same like COVID-19 has been, uh, it, right? Like teach us how this uh, microorganism pandemic or like if the pandemics are caused by this bacteria or virus, there is no borders. So one country, even though they work hard to protect, uh, but if the other countries are not doing well, this resistant bacteria can spread also through the different countries. So that's why the importance again, we cannot just want to solve problem in our regions, but need to be done globally. The bacteria are developed. It's not so easy for them to be killed by simply reducing the use of antibiotics. That's the problem. So bacteria will come persist in the environment. And uh, uh, of course they might reduce over a really long period of time. So then, which means like, you know, takes time. However, that um and when the resistant bacteria persist in the environment the problem also that the the genes in the bacteria which encode this resistant level it also can be transferred between bacteria that is also the problem that usually not so people not so many people aware because it's very microbiology uh knowledge uh, these genes can be transferred and, and preventing the spread of these genes are not so easy when you prevent bacteria or this, the, the issue like in the COVID-19, right? We can just prevent the spread of this virus and pandemic can be prevent, uh, can be prevented. However, when this bacteria uh, uh, pandemic, the genes can be transferred. So even we stop the bacteria, the genes can be transferred to different bacteria and they're spreading in other type of bacteria. Uh, so this is one like that requires uh, a lot of, let's say like uh, forced activities, not only sanitation, antibiotic use, or also the prevention like vaccine or uh, improving you know health, animal health or human health and environmental health. So this is one of the reason why, uh, again, AMR is so complex that I cannot only say only one way, this is the, the right way to do or the first thing to do.